Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of the updates to the uh, Urban Hipster uh, Commerce Demo sites. Um, it's a big content overhaul. Uh, the reason for this is we needed to make sure that the uh, licensing for all the images uh, was such that we could um, distribute you know, the site, the code, the images and everything um, without having to worry about legality stuff. Um, so by doing that, it was a good time to clean up some of the other things on the site. Um, so I'll just quickly go over that stuff right now. Um, so on the front end, as you can see here, um, imagery has changed. Um, the uh, the UH Plus products haven't changed at all. Um, and same with the mason jar. Uh, those are still the same as what they were. Um, but what has changed is kind of every other product. Um, so for instance, if I go into this one, uh, you'll see now that we have this nice little gallery and you can click on an image to open it up um, in a pop-up. Um, so that's that's kind of the big, uh, I guess, the biggest change um, from a code point of view and how, how things work. Everything else is basically just imagery. Um, so on the on the back end, um, previously we had, um, if we go to attributes, we had a color attribute. Um, we had we had a bunch of different attributes. Um, so I've kind of streamlined some of these. Uh, we have glass color, lid color, and straw color, which are specific to the um, customizable mason jar, as they were previously. Um, that's a unique product. Um, it's kind of a unique situation, and so that's why it has some specific variations. Uh, other than that, we now have just shoe size, and then small, medium, large uh, clothing size. Um, they have those two variations. And then we have some uh, UH Plus specific variations. Again, just very custom products, so they required their own variations. Um, if I look at, uh, I guess I can go and show you some of the how this new stuff works. Um, if I edit this product, um, one new thing, <clears throat> excuse me, one new thing that you'll see is there's now a catalog image. Um, this image is used, um, if I go back here, this image is used right here. So anywhere that you'd see this kind of teaser display of the product, um, that's the catalog image. Uh, previously, that image was just being grabbed from any, any image that was used in the variation, um, which is no longer the case. Uh, it's only, the catalog image is only taken from here now. Um, down here, though, um, is where we'd control our image gallery. Um, so any variation that's created uh, can now optionally have an image. Um, that's pretty much the same as before, although before it was required, now it's optional. Um, down below, uh, we also have this image section where you can upload an unlimited number of additional images. Um, what this is used for is uh, these images are kind of your full product images, and whatever has been uploaded into these two sections, variations or here, um, they'll be combined into an image gallery. Um, so if all you need is just, um, you know, a bunch of images, you don't have to worry about like uh, one image per variation. If you just have uploading like a, a simple product that just has the one variation like this one, um, but it might have multiple images, you can either upload all of your images into this section here, or you can do um, what this one is showing, where it's showing that one image for the variation, and then it, and then additional uploaded images are here. Um, again, these are being combined uh, into a gallery, so um, the gallery now in this case has three images. It doesn't matter if they're here or here; it'll it'll combine them all into a gallery. Um, so let's just look at that now. So here you go. There's your gallery. Um, if you have a product that only has uh, one image, um, so let me just find one of those now. I think one of the shoes.
So this product only has one image. Um, because of that, you don't see any thumbnails below. It's, it's smart enough to know that. Um, and if I edit this and scroll down, uh, you'll see that uh, we have a whole bunch of different variations here. Um, and then the, the image has been uploaded here. Um, so this is an important thing to know um, because each of these variations, which is like, you know, the shoe for the different sizes that the shoe comes in. If we were to add an image to each one of these variations, we'd probably add the same image. If we were to do that, it would create an image gallery that has two, three, four. We'd have seven different images in that gallery because it's combining all of those images into one gallery, but it would be the same image. So we don't want that. Um, we only need the one image. And so in, that, in this case, it, it makes more sense to just, just upload the one image here. Don't worry about any images for the variations. And, uh, and it'll, just, it'll just add that one image to the site. Um, I guess the best practice for this is to just don't, don't worry about adding an image to the variation. Um, nine times out of 10, you're just gonna add the image here. Uh, the only reason why you might want to add an image to the variation is because, um, like if if say we had instead instead of showing shoe sizes here, say this was like a a vase or a bowl or something, and it had a bunch of different color options, um, then you might want to add you know the that variation has a specific color, so you might upload an image for that variation the next one might be blue so you had a blue one next one's red you had a red one so then you have three different um, color options for this product and then when you save that um, you know your gallery would would reflect that but then the variation that you picked when you add it to the cart it would have you know the red or the blue or whatever color you had selected in your options um, you know it would it would show that in the cart so that that's that's where you might want to use the variation image uh, field. Uh, let's see what else here. Um, I guess that's that's pretty much it. Uh, other than managing that gallery, um, the rest of the stuff was more just kind of cleaning up some unused or barely used uh, variation types and product types um, and attributes. Um, so everything else is pretty much the same as, as what you had seen before. You can go in and click around and kind of check things out, but functionality wise, the only thing that's really changed is the, um, that image gallery. All right. Thanks.